What you got there, Gus? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Got a 1951 Yankees team signed baseball. It's got about 22, 23 signatures on the ball. Joe DiMaggio, Yogi Berra, Mickey Mantle. Since it's a 51, the year they won the World Series. My grandfather went to a game in 1951 with my mother and uh, received the autograph from a friend of his that was involved with the team. The baseball doesn't really mean a lot to me. It's got some family heritage, but it's to baseball. It's a very interesting piece. What can you tell me about this? 51, that was Mantle's rookie year, Joe DiMaggio's last. So you got a critical intersection of history right here on that ball. Can I see it? This would be perfect for the company softball game. Chamway, I'm fixing to hit you. It looks like it's been run over by a truck. <laughs> the condition of this ball is fair to good. Signatures are faded, but you can read them, and I would be suspicious of any other ball that was a mint condition ball. What you trying to do, sell it, pawn it, donate it? I'd like to sell it. I think the ball's well worth $3,000. Do you have any paperwork on it? None whatsoever. The way you sell this stuff is with authentication because there's a tremendous amount of people with a ballpoint out there. I'm definitely interested. Okay. But I just want to have somebody that knows more than me look at this thing. It's not that I don't trust this guy. I don't trust nobody, especially when they're trying to sell me something. If they want to bring in an expert, I'm fine with it, and I'd like to learn more about the ball as well. Hey, old man, how you doing? I'm fine. Good to see you again. You Chum Lee. I'm a forensic handwriting expert and the owner of Expert Handwriting Analysis in Las Vegas. Do you mind if I take a look that's, at it? That's why you're here. That is why I'm here. Okay. I have obtained genuine signatures of all the players on the team that year. Okay. So what I will do is use those as examples and compare them to the signatures on the ball. When I first looked at the ball, it didn't have any obvious signs of not being authentic. Certain things that can be done to age a baseball would be abrasion to make those signatures look older than they are, or exposing it to unnatural elements such as lemon juice and sunlight. Right now, I'm looking at Mickey Mantle's signature, and I like what I'm seeing because Mickey Mantle had two different signatures. The first signature that, that he used in the 50s matches the signature on the ball. Okay, that's good. Which is good. Uh, later, uh, throughout the years, Mickey Mantle added um, a billowing shape. Uh, almost, his M's started to look like sailboats. Do you see that? Uh-huh. That tells me that this signature was from the right time frame, from 1951. That's good news, good, good news for you. What's the light for? So I can see the handwriting on the ball. Oh. The signature that's in the best condition, I would say would be the Joe DiMaggio signature. Joe DiMaggio had a real heavy writing style. Okay, in your opinion, this ball is in, you could classify this as a real 1951 uh, Yankees ball. I do believe that this is a genuine 1951 Yankees baseball. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. The value of the ball is really subjective. It just comes down to what a buyer is willing to pay for it and what the seller is willing to get for it. So what are you trying to get out of it, Clint? I think $3,000 is a reasonable amount for the ball. If the signature was better shape, I'd say the ball's worth well over $3,000 and the shape is in, it's not worth 3000 I'll be glad to negotiate with you, but you're gonna to have to come down a whole lot if we cut a deal. What could you guys offer me on this? I'm gonna shoot you a price. If you don't like it, don't hit me, but I'd be a buyer at about $800. This is a historical piece above and beyond the, the, the signature factor of the ball, which I will grant you the signatures are faded. I couldn't pay 3000 and you gotta understand too that I'm tying my money up and I have to make a profit. Well, I would respectfully decline. 
The offer will stand. You're welcome back anytime. I appreciate it. When the price is not right, it's not right. And $3,000 was too much for that baseball.